Hi, I'm Charlotte, and I'm here to talk about artificial intelligence. Last time, we talked about sensors and perception, both for computers and for humans. But what happens with that data once it comes through a sensor determines whether or not it's processed with a traditional computer or with an artificial intelligence system. Let me give you an example. Imagine that you're planning a birthday party at a roller rink and you want to spend $200 to rent out the rink and they also charge $6.50 per person that comes to the rink. You could put that in as $200 plus $6.50 times the number of people or 650p. That's traditional computing where we have a function and we run some numbers through it and we get an output, the amount that you're going to pay for the birthday party. In artificial intelligence, we do it a little bit differently. We start with the input and we have the output and we don't figure out the middle. The computer figures out how to get from the input to the output. How it gets that is by successive approximation. That means it gets closer and closer every time. It'll try to come up with some numbers that make those variables work out to calculate what the rate will be over time. So if you're an AI system, you'd get the input of four people and the cost is $226. 10 people, 265. 14 people, 291. 20 people, 330. So in traditional computing, we give the computer a math problem and it plugs in the numbers and gives us an output. In artificially intelligent programs, we have an input and we have an output. We have a lot of pairs of data the, those values and it uses its own math to determine how the pattern should evolve. Here's another example. We've, we're uh, shopping for our party and we're going to the grocery store. As you walk in the door, the door opens whoop, and as you walk through it closes again. Whew. Now that is a sensor. It knows that you're there, it opened for you, but it doesn't know that you are you. If you walk through that same door and the door opens and it says, hello Charlotte, and as you're checking out, you scan that card so that you get your coupons. Well, that data is being used by the company that you're purchasing from. So let's say you, you scan that card and immediately some coupons come out and they're for about the same thing that you're buying right now. If you're buying a cake mix, you're probably getting coupons for other brands of cake mixes. If you're buying three pints of Ben and Jerry's, you're probably get a, getting a coupon for buying four or more. And, and that's not an artificially intelligent system necessarily. That's just that input versus output comparing. What happens is if it knows you're having a birthday party and you get coupons in the mail next week that offer presents that would be tailored to your family, that's an artificial intelligence system. Well, how does it do that? Well, it does it with a lot, a lot, a lot of data. So if you walk through the door, that's a sensor, not AI. If you get personalized information using lots of data, that's a neural network. Mm -hmm.